Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the cleric elements and we're going to be focusing on the sign up form. And in the next video, we'll focus on the login. So this is the animated custom login form that we created. And I'm going to show you how we can integrate cleric using the cleric elements using this. So if I click this, you'll see that we have this animation. So this is a custom form that we've created. And this is the area where the form elements will be the input fields and the button. So let me show you, let me just close this. If I show you, we have the folder, then we have a folder inside of this with double brackets and this, this is a catch all route. And then inside of this folder, we have a page.js file. So this is page.js file inside of this. It's nothing complicated. Here, we're going to import these three things. Okay. That is cleric sign up and sign in but we're gonna do asterisk as cleric and sign up and sign in and I'll show you why we need to do it like this but for now you need to do this and you can also add this because this is an animated form we want to first load cleric and then have the animation start so to do that we're gonna wait for cleric to load by using this component and wrapping all of the form inside of this. Okay. This is the whole form. Okay. So it's wrapped inside of this component and anything inside of the cleric loaded will load after the cleric library has been added, has been loaded in. So that's why we need this. And this is just to trigger the animation. Okay. This is just to trigger the animation. And I've already created a tutorial on how to create this animated form. If you want to go and check that out. But here, I want to quickly just show you. This is the form. Okay. Inside of this is where we're going to add the sign up input fields for this. Okay. And I, this is the way of doing this. But before we end up adding any of the fields, we need to set this up. So if you remember, when you sign up, you get a email that has a verification code inside of it, that verification code, then to use that verification code, we need another form. So we need to load the next form and we're going to do it using this. Okay, we're going to use the cleric elements for this. So this is the basic setup okay so here i'm just gonna tell you right now before we do any of this before we end up using any of these we need to install this into our project the elements okay so it's really easy to do all you need to do is type in the command npm i and then at cleric slash elements and then press enter this will install the cleric elements and this only works for next.js i want to be clear on that because this is something that only next.js supports for now but maybe in the future they'll create something for react but for now this only works with next.js so after you have done installing cleric elements then just import all of these then in this area which is basically this area right here. I'm using Bootstrap, by the way. You can use Tailwind CSS if you want. That's up to you. Create your own custom form. Afterwards, here is where we will add the steps and the input fields. So first, if you see here, we have a sign up, right? Asterisk as sign up. So to create the sign up. Oh, this is the sign up form. Actually, this is where we're going to do this. So this is the sign up form. Okay. So here, what we're going to do is add this. Okay. And just close this. Okay. So we've added this. And now what we're going to do here is do dot root. So this is to tell that we are at the root level of this sign up component okay this is the root and inside of this we are going to put in the steps and the input fields 
okay and even the error fields okay so here the next one is also going to be sign up and this is going to be dot step and the reason is that this is the first step okay the next step is going to be the verification code check okay so this is the first step we're gonna do name is equal to start so this is telling that this is the first step okay then what you end up doing inside of this let me just copy this and just paste this in okay so we're gonna specify the next step right so the next step is going to be not start but verification so this is to verify our email verification code okay so here now we're gonna add the input fields when we're on the first step okay so I'm just gonna copy this okay because it's the same thing I just didn't want to waste time I'm just gonna copy this but I will show you just so that everything is clear okay so the first one uh, if I actually show you here we have cleric okay asterisk as cleric in cleric elements common okay so what this is doing is we're gonna first do cleric Okay, we're going to use this component. Actually, we're going to do this. So then we're going to add dot field. Okay. And this is to specify that we have one field here. Okay, this is the start of our field. Okay. And the next one is for the input. Okay, so cleric dot input. Okay, this is to specify that this is the input, and then actually this is a self closing tag because inputs are self closing tags. Okay, so this is the input. The next one is the cleric dot label, and you can put this at the top. I'm just putting it here. This is to specify the label of this field. And the next one is the cleric field error. Oh, this is self closing too. And this is a self closing tag. This field error basically will just display your error. And here you are going to add name is equal to. And then you will do email address because these are predefined things okay so email address and for the next field it's the same thing but first we're gonna style these inputs so I'm using bootstrap you can use tailwind CSS so I'm just gonna copy paste these in okay and this is just to save time you can you should be doing this manually and is there anything for the label nope okay so here this is not this I'm gonna do email and here and it's the same thing with for the password just copy paste and then change this to password and then I'm going to change this password and I'm going to change this password okay okay so this is how you set this up okay and next we're gonna focus on the verification so to handle the verification it's really simple you just do a sign up strategy okay one more thing I need to add in this and that is the action 
So yeah, I'm just going to copy this, paste this in, close this, dot, action. So what this does is it will run this part. This part basically is telling that this is the form, the first form, okay? So sign up step is basically telling that this is the start and end of a form. And this is telling that this is the start and end of the second form, which is for verification. Okay. So here, if I'm specifying a button that will act as a submit button. Okay. So here you need to tell it to be a submit. Okay. And then you can add some styling and I'm just going to do something simple. I think this should be good enough. I'm going to say sign up. So if everything worked for this, I'm going to save this and I'm going to check here if everything ended up working. Yeah, it says I didn't chance. It's S. Okay. Let me just save that. It's verifications. See, there's an S. So, yeah. Okay, as you can see, my form is loading. Okay. But this won't work correctly. I need to tell it that, okay, after I have clicked the sign up button, I need to do the verification. Okay, so for the verification, what we're going to do is set this up. This is only going to require one field. So I'm just going to copy this. Okay, I'm just going to paste this in because it's the exact same thing. Okay, just need to change the name and the placeholder. Okay, and the label. So for this, what you're going to do is use the email verification, right? So you're going to do code for this. Oh, uh, here it's code. Okay. And I'm also going to call this code. You could call it verification code. If you want, I'm going to say code. Okay. And this should be good. And next you can just copy this button and under the field. You can just add that. And here I'm going to change this to verify and just save this. I'm going to wait for it to reload. Okay. So I'm also going to open up my cleric. So in my cleric dashboard, I have this account, this test account. I'm going to delete this one. And as you can see, it's gone now. But now using this sign up form that we've created, I'm going to sign this user up sign up and as you can see the second form ended up loading because using this step we can go to the second form then and here I'm gonna use the test verification code and I'm just gonna verify okay so let's check whether the user was created or not let me just refresh this Yes, our user was created and he is verified. So let me just, yeah, I got redirected back. I just didn't wait for the redirect, but I got redirected back to the main page because that's what it will do when you end up using this. Okay. So I am logged in just to show you, I'm going to go to the dashboard page that I've set up already. And if I am logged in, I will be able to see this page okay so as you can see I am logged in and it's the same user okay it's working everything is working fine okay so I'm gonna sign out and there you go we have created the sign up for our custom sign up form next we will work on the login for this as well. So I hope you like this tutorial. Like and subscribe to stay updated about the latest tutorials and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.